What's good guys, this is Flashback Gaming and this is episode 5 of Pack and Play. I might as well call it Pack and Play now because that's basically what I'm doing. And I know it was a pretty poor episode, last episode which was 4. So hopefully we can have a good episode with some decent packs this time. So let's get this underway. I'm actually going to go all the way down to 10,000 points in this. So I'm going to quickly try to get it done really quick. Okay, so that was pretty poor. Mexican... Lee, that was a bad pack to be honest. Baptista, whatever name. Yeah, okay. So thirteen thousand eight hundred. We are gonna spend three thousand and eight hundred points of that. Messi on the pack. Come on, Ibarbo. Yes, ninety-three pace striker. I used him last year. This guy is so overpowered, and I think he's gonna be even better this year because of his strength. So that can really be added to the squad because he can link up with like Balotelli and stuff like that so that was a pretty nice pack there hopefully we can get someone above 83 rated in this pack not the greatest two first packs but we did get a Barbo a nice pacey striker although he doesn't go for much so we had now got SEN 81 center defensive mid for Chelsea not the greatest fine because he's not going to be worth much in this FIFA he hardly plays anyway so this hasn't been a great start to this pack opening. Okay, he's now rare. I did actually have him in my, I think it was my pack to glory last year. And he wasn't a rare and he's recently transferred to Borussia Dortmund. And Ligo do Brazil, Malaga. Not the greatest pack so far. I don't think we've got anyone... That's 82 rated or higher. Can this be the pack where we get an 82 rated or higher player? No, but we do get Menes. I think... Oh, and also Javi Alonso. That is a nice pack. That is a really nice pack. So, Javi Alonso is a duplicate, so I'm going to have to send him to Trepal. Menes, a nice player to get. Also, this guy, we can use him because he can link with Hummels. So, I might have to rotate him in and maybe even... This guy, I think he's a duplicate as well. So I could actually use him as well. So that's a pretty nice pack. What else is down the side? Oh, another pacey winger. We're just going to auto-assign all of them into the club. That wasn't a bad pack. We did get an 85 rated player. So we're going to quickly open this. I think we're going to watch it this time. I have a feeling there's going to be a rare player in this pack. Am I right? Rooney! We've just gotten Rooney. 87 rated center forward he is definitely going to be used in the squad i think if i can fit him in somehow Belton's arena once again and also squad fitness so that was a very nice pack ah that was really lucky i expected to get someone rare then but i never expected to get rooney so we're going to go to the store come on alaba can we make it two rare players in a row highly doubt it guys but you never know let's just watch it and see come on Oh, Dembaba doesn't get played anymore. He's a Chelsea outcast. And also, who is this guy? Andreas Fernandez. Looks like a pretty decent Spanish keeper. Maybe he's quite young and pushing through into the Spanish squad. I don't actually know. Okay, something's just happened here. So I'm going to quickly go back into the browser and I'll be back in a sec. Who is... are we going to get? Come on. I'm going to skip this. Rack tick. No. 81 shot though. At least we got Jones as well. He'll probably sell for about a thousand coins once the game comes out. FC Porto badge. Any duplicates? Just a crappy kit. So that was another bad pack to be honest. El Shari on the cover. Come on, give us something good. After this, we have eleven thousand four hundred. Oh, three rare players in one pack. And we've got Mexes, Cahill. And Felipe Santana, one of the most overpowered centre-backs in FIFA 13. Hopefully he is like that this year. I think he looks even better this year with 81 pace, 84 heading as well. Mexes was quite good in FIFA 13 as well as Cahill. So that's a pretty nice defensive lineup that I've just got there. And the duplicates were crap. Vidal, do your job. 1,100 points left. Oh, yes. Yes, we have got Sanchez. 
He's not worth that much this year, I think, just because of his ratings dropped so much. But he does have that 87 pace and 85 dribbling, as well as Dyer, who has 92 pace and is a rare gold player. So that was a pretty nice pack to get there. Uh, Cahill on the front again. We ain't going to get nothing good in this pack, so I'm just going to skip it. When did this guy move to Manchester City? 39 pace. What? When When was this? 39 shot, 39 pace. Some awful stats, but he does have 85 defending. He's just like another Murtazaka. Did we get any good duplicates? Ambrosini, not worth keeping, but we'll just auto assign anyway. And we have four packs left, if I'm correct. Yeah, we do. Vidal, come on, someone rare, please. Okay, we got a rare silver player and also a Chelsea home kit and a Santos home kit. So, please guys, tell me if this guy is worth anything. I'm not actually sure if, sure if he is. And we also got Julio Baptista. Recently got him. But apart from that, that was a terrible pack. I'd rather have a rare gold than a rare silver because these silvers this year are not worth much unless I get someone like Kelvin. Alaba on the cover. Are we going to get something good this time? We're watching it. Abiati again. I think this is the second or third time I've got him as well as Lika. Why does it keep giving me the same players? And Westerman. And three chemistry styles in one pack. I think these are actually worth about a thousand each. So that's not actually too bad. I'll keep hold of that. And two more remaining packs. Should we go back out and in just for good luck? Messi on the front. One more pack after this. Who are we going to get? PK. Yes. Nice find there. And it is Messi's teammate. PK, 62 pace, 86 defending, 81 heading. That is a nice find. And he can definitely be linked into the squad because we also have his teammate, Alba. So that is a pretty nice find. One of the highest rated centre backs in the game. I would have preferred Ramos to him. But you can't complain when you get an 86 rated player in a pack. So I'm happy with that. And we do have one more pack to get through. Just going to discard that 85 coins. So Vidal on the cover. Do we finally get to end the episode here with a rare player? I think we will now. And we do. It was a poor player to get to be honest. I think I've already had this guy. Yes I have. And also Arnutovic. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Recently moved to Stoke from where the Bremen. A pretty decent player to be honest from what I've seen of him. But... Not a great pack to end on, but it's still got a rare player, so I'm going to leave it there, guys, and I'll be back with some match highlights in a sec. So we are playing another 3-5-2, and these are the subs, including Balotelli, Vela, Danilio, Continuo on the reserves, and Cahill, who we actually got in this episode. I wanted to include him, but unfortunately, because we have too many good centre-backs, I could not. But this is the squad in front of you. Adler in goal. In the centre-back positions, we have Hummels, Santana, and PK. Right mid is Sanchez. He's actually a right winger. And defensive mid is Ramirez and Lampard. Left mid is that Inter Milan guy. I don't know his name, so there's no point in me trying to guess. And in cam is Wayne Rooney. He's actually a centre forward, but I converted him to a cam with a simple position modifier. And up front is a Barbo and Neymar. I know the chemistry is not that great, only 85. I did build a really nice 5 2 1 2 team, and that was actually really good. And it had like 97 chemistry. But I thought that would be too sweaty and you guys would not like that. So this is the team I've built. I know the chemistry ain't the greatest but it looks a pretty decent team. Leave me your thoughts on this squad and maybe any changes that I could have made. So let's get on with the game and I'm going to be showing you some highlights We're right now. to play our third game of this series and although the team looks really great I am not actually comfortable playing free at the back. But I will be trying out a load more formations in this series. So don't worry about that, guys. You can see this guy's team is very sweaty. He has Agbamyang up front with that 95 pace. Diouf, a very fast defense as well with Dante and that Socrates guy. 
and Dante is so overpowered in this game so really get him if you're building a Bundesliga side but we started off quite nicely Neymar on the ball right now lovely little cut and finesse right into the top left corner but his keeper saved it finesse is quite overpowered in this game it's actually back just like fifa 12 and working fine it barber with a lovely header from that corner taken by lampard so we was one nil up with 15 minutes gone and a nice header and debut goal for Ibarbo. so we're going in at half time we are winning one nil the stats wise pretty even possession but i've had quite a few more shots he's only had one and this is what happened now that was quite fluky how it kept bouncing back to him and it fell to Dioff when he passed it and a nice finesse finish into the corner take nothing away from the finish but it was this kind of crap how it kept rebounding to him and this was literally what he was doing the whole game knocking it over and hoping that his strikers could get it a lucky rebound and Agbamyang finished it so he was 2-1 up but most of the time he was just hitting it over the top and it's really hard to control free at the back especially because in this FIFA it is so hard to control the defence especially switching players and stuff like that so he was just kind of turning my defence apart by lifting it over the top and running with the pacey Agbamyang and others and this is the chance we got in the 90th minute with Santana yes you hold your dick shaped head because that was a terrible miss and he could have got us a draw right there so we finished losing 2-1 and don't worry guys I will get my form back soon I'm going to be trying a few more formations because I'm not good playing free at the back in this FIFA just because it's so hard to defend and although defence was alright, PK was good, but it's just so hard to defend with three at the back and you can get turned really easy. You can see by the stats there, I had a few more shots than in pre-even possession, but it was our second loss.